hi guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video I'll be making false stew so this is a sausage stew um this is one of my favorite recipes that I do like to make it is quite easy and I have a similar recipe on this you can check the cards below it is a sausage curry quite delicious quite quick just like this one of course so let's get into it in a pan I did put in some cooking oil I am just waiting for this to heat up a little bit and then I'm gonna add in our sausage our cooking oil is a bit hot so we are gonna add in our sausage and let it fry there we go so whilst this is frying up guys we're gonna prepare the vegetables to go inside of here so let's go do that so for the tomatoes guys I did wash them I'm just gonna remove the top part and I am gonna throw them in our food processor well this is a blender and it processes food real good <laughs> then the onion we're gonna be using a full onion this is a big one so it's one large onion I do love onions in my food guys onions are very healthy and very fragrant they make the food taste so amazing so the more the merrier when it comes to onion I suggest but if you don't like onions, just use half, okay? So I'm just going to chop these onions into small pieces. Like so. as long as they cook evenly that's that's what we're looking for we're not looking for the most best amazing way of cutting onions guys. No. <laughs> I am going to flip this to the other side Look at how nice this looks, you guys. It's coming along good. Okay, so now we're gonna flip this again. We cook the other side. Fry it up. See the side wasn't getting fried. So we'll just put this in the middle like so yeah we want it to be brown you can see guys it has browned quite nicely as you can see it is fried up it just looks amazing so we're gonna take this off the heat and place it on a plate cut it up and then start frying our onion and tomato to make our gravy Is on. This cooking oil is a lot, so we are going to drain it. This is the little cooking oil that I did leave on the pan. And now I'm going to fry up our onion. guys this burntness is called flavor it's not burnt it's flavorful okay so we do want that flavor out of that okay we do want that taste so don't get worried now we want it and I'm gonna add a little bit of 
more oil from our sausage and then we're gonna fry our onions until they are translucent so just fry these up for three to five minutes depending on the size that you cut them yeah, let's let this fry our onion has fried up now I'm gonna add in our gravy so this is the result guys of my blended tomatoes I didn't add any water we're still going to do that to make it a beautiful gravy okay now I am gonna add a little bit of water and we're gonna let this simmer and I'm gonna add the spices so let me do that now okay so I'm adding some paprika some barbecue spice a little bit of turmeric a tiny bit of salt because our sausage is very salty they make them very salty because you know people usually just fry them for their parties and have them with some pap on the side and some you know tomato gravy or salsa so they're salty enough and you don't need extra salt for your sauce so I'm going to close this up and let it boil, boil down a little bit. Now that my gravy has cooked down, I am going to add the sausages. Now I'm going to add a sausage. Okay, now we're gonna mix this up. Okay, it's just look at it. Ooh. Just look at it. It looks amazing. It looks delicious. So we're gonna let this cook up. We want our flavorful gravy to go into our sausages. So let's enjoy this bourbons, guys. So let's let it cook for five minutes. It will look like this guys when it is cooked. Now your gravy is thick. <laughs> and your sausages are mixed in together. So this is your final result. This is very delicious. Just enjoy this with some pap, some rice. It is even great with some toasted bread. You'll never go wrong with this recipe guys and it's really quick and easy.